Good morning. Beautiful morning here uh, in the Richmond River in Ballina. We came in uh, yesterday across the bar. Wombie's got some family stuff she's got to do, so she jumped on a bus to uh, head home and organise that. Uh, she'll be back today, I think, probably up and down a few, a bit, and then she may have to travel uh, a bit far south to catch up with a brother, but we'll just see how that all goes. But pretty comfortable here in the Richmond River. I found some water on the shore, so I can cart a little bit of water every time I go sh to shore. That'll keep uh, the showers up to me, and uh, yeah, life's pretty good. So today I'm just going to show you what a normal day is for me. Up at seven o'clock usually, um, cup of tea, first order of uh, business. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Well, next job on the list, uh, breakfast. Our usual breakfast is uh, muesli, which we make up ourselves. We buy a packet of muesli, it's easy to stow and uh, we add a little bit to it, to our own taste. Add a fresh strawberry when they're in season. Sometimes blueberries if you can afford them. Yeah, they say that uh, bananas on boats are bad luck, but I really love my bananas. So, banana in the muesli every morning. Whole banana this morning, usually half a one if uh, Wombie's on board. We finish this brekkie off with uh, a couple of spoons of yogurt. That's a pretty good healthy breakfast, I reckon, and one we have nearly every day. And this is the thing you uh, get to eat your breakfast in a different location anytime you want. Nearly every day, I suppose. This is my view at the moment. Even though the sun's out, it's a bit of a cool morning this morning. But uh, I like to get at least one or two jobs done on the boat each day. So what I'm going to do is just uh, polish this foredeck area this morning. I'll just break it up into smaller uh, areas and uh, put a bit of polish on. And just look after the paint a bit. Okay, it's uh, time to go over for a coffee. I'll take the dinghy over, but before I go, I just grab my water bottles. I take these over, 15 litres in each. If I do that every day, um, I keep plenty of water in the tanks to have a shower and wash dishes and things like that. So just cart a bit of water, you find a tap on the shore and uh, just bring a couple of bottles back every day. Let's get the dinghy in.
The whale season is here and the whale watching boat just got back to the pontoon to unload its passengers. And now it's time for coffee. Let's go. This is my favourite coffee spot in Bella. I've only been here two days. It's a really good uh, little store. It's called Just Funk. And uh, they make great coffee. And it's like an old record store I used to visit when I was a younger bloke. Watch the parade pass before me Oh my old comrades There's even a bit of live music in the street Remembering the days of past glory The old man marched slowly their bones stiff and sore Tired old heroes from a forgotten old war of our second day in Ballina. It's been quite windy today and cold. The wind's been very cold. It's around to the southeast. We're hoping to get out of here maybe Friday, but we'll have to have a look at it. We've been doing a lot of editing and uh, yeah, it's been good to get that done. Well, third day in Ballina. Uh, Wombi will be back tomorrow. She's going to take some washing home and do it. I might tra take a little trip up the river, just have a look at what's up a bit further. Um, I've been spending a bit of time editing, so uh, getting a bit of that done, which is great. And yeah, it's been pretty comfy here. Um, it's a short walk to town, I can go up and have a coffee in the morning, there's water available, and uh, you need to be pretty self-sufficient because there's no ma marina here really. There's one little one, but I think it's full all the time. So you need to be able to live on your boat and uh, live off grid, which I'm doing pretty well with the lithium batteries. Anyhow dudes, uh, another lovely day in Ballina. Wombies back on board. What did you bring with you? Fishing rods. Cake. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Washing. Well, uh, last trip ashore in Ballina. We've uh, had brekkie. We're just going to take Ted up for a walk and have a cup of coffee. We're just waiting for the tide to run off a little bit, and uh, the bar looks pretty good. A few trawlers coming in, so uh, we'll just have coffee, let it run off a bit, and then head to Iluka. <laughs> Are you ready to go for a boat ride? Come on, let's go. We're going to see some whales, darling. Oh yeah, I hope so. It's a whale sort of day, I think.
people don't like coming in here. Oh, no? Uh-huh. What is that? It's a nasty bar. We are still on the run out. Well, we're at the bottom of the tide virtually, but a bit of overrun affecting the bar at the moment. You can see there's still a bit on it, but um, we're just going to take our time and, and head out. It looks like on the lead, it's not too bad. So uh, we'll just poke across and watch it. as you'd want on that bar, but notice I didn't uh, try and push too quick into the wave, just hang back a little bit, wait till I break in front of you then, give it a bit to um, get out over the break. We're out of the water now and we can, uh, we can hold the course and head down to the Clarence. Well, it's always good to be out across the uh, Ballina Bar and it's uh, pretty good out here at sea. There's a bit of swell on, but it's from behind, really. It's uh, coming from the north. A little bit of breeze. We might try and get some sail out, but it's probably not going to do much. Uh, very light, under five knots, I'd reckon. Pleasant day to be out here. Bring on the whales. Wombi bought cheesecake back with her and icing. Well, that's been uh, another fantastic trip down the coast. 
We'll take you outside. <laughs> Wombie's on the phone. Well, it's been another fantastic trip uh, down the coast. Chewed up another 33 nautical miles from uh, Ballina down to the Clarence River. Uh, we're just off the bar now. Doesn't look too bad. I just had a look on the bar cam. Doesn't look too bad, so we should be able to navigate in there all right. Um, might be here a little while. Wombie's jumping ship again. She's got to catch up with a brother and sister down at Southwest Rocks. The brother's coming up from uh, Canberra, so they're having a bit of a family reunion. So I'll probably cool my feet in the uh, Clarence and, um, yeah, do a bit more editing and muck around. We might go up to McLean, we'll just see, see how it hangs, or so we'll probably be in Iluka. Anyway, that's been a beautiful trip. It's been a fantastic day out here today. We had whales in the distance, we've had dolphins under the front of the boat, and we've just been rolling along in this uh, not very big northerly swell it's um, pretty nice we held the sail for quite some time but the wind's gone now and um, it hasn't come back it's uh, gone around a little bit to the east now so uh, wouldn't be helping us much anyway we'll uh, get the boat ready to cross the bar into the Clarence River hope you've enjoyed this trip dudes plenty more to come Uh, listen, uh, just a reminder, please uh, subscribe. I get a lot more views from people that aren't subscribed than are subscribed. So uh, it'd be great if you would subscribe. It helps our algorithm, helps us get the channel out there. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, it's free. It just means that uh, when I post a video, if you ring the bell, uh, when I post a video, you get notification. And I try to get one up every week. So give us a bit of a hand by subscribing, that'd be great. Otherwise, make a comment, ask a question, I'll try and answer it for you. See you when we're in the Clarence, dudes. Even in these good conditions, there's a bit of a break on the outside of the Clarence Bar. And uh, we look for the best water and decide to head for the northern break wall and just skip around the end of that. That keeps us in pretty calm water. We're soon anchored in the duck pond at Iluka. It's a great anchorage. Back to the Sedges Reef pub. Haven't been here for a couple of years. This is the iconic Sedges Reef pub at Iluka. And uh, the last time I was here was probably 18 months, nearly two years ago, and it was supposed to be demolished and a new pub built, which would probably not have as much character as this old pub, but anyway, that was going to be the go. But she's still standing. It's made completely of asbestos cement, this thing, so <laughs> if they pull it down, it's going to be a huge job getting rid of all that AC. Anyway, we're going to go in and have a beer. But that used to be cool, so those 